I created that site. I'm a site owner and I have full permissions over the site. Let's have a look at the menus. So here we have a, a navigation under the title of the site and this is the logo. And because I'm owner I can edit that navigation and add more links here or remove links or reorder them in a way uh, I prefer. I'll cancel that for now. We can uh, show that in details in another video. Here, that's, uh, I'm calling that an action bar and that action bar is different with different buttons depending on the page we are. If I go to my documents Yes, skip that tip. That navigation bar has changed. Uh, if I go to site pages, that navigation bar has changed and there's different buttons. Site contents again, different buttons, but that action bar stays on top um, and we can interact with it. I'll go to the home page and let's have a look at more. So from here, I can create content and I can add page details. Um, furthermore, as an owner, furthermore, as an owner, I can invite more users and I have control over the user seeing the site. And these are different groups that I can invite users in. Let's say that I have a small team of people I can invite all of them as site members so they can help me enrich that site and fill it and add more content and more data to the site so we can collaborate better. There are more options for me, mainly under that gear here. And as an owner, I have much more options here. And I'll go into details of every single one of them in separate videos. And there is one additional page from that site that is very, very important for owners, but is not listed here. And it's the site settings page. Let me show you how you can access it. So we have to go to site contents. And then there is a button here called site settings only visible for site owners. So when I click that button, I will land on uh, the site settings page. And this is a set of different settings and menus and features that myself as an owner of that site can change. And we can see basic things like changing the look and feel, renaming the site and changing the logo, but also more options for creating different groups, inviting more people to the site and identifying permissions for the different people. And again, I'll try to create a separate video for all these different menus uh, and links here to try and explain what you're supposed to know as a power user or owner of this site. Microsoft is trying to hide very hard that panel so soon there might be a new page with a better look, but for now, this is the place where we can control all the site settings from a, more like a centralized location.